Have you ever wondered if the unseen world might be more real than the one we see every day? We're about to delve into the realm of the paranormal, a place that defies our understanding of the natural world. The paranormal world isn't just about ghost stories told around campfires or horror movies that make your heart race. It's a realm that challenges our perception of reality and questions our understanding of the universe. Think about some of the most famous paranormal events in history, the spine-tingling tales of the Enfield poltergeist, the eerie predictions of the Mothman prophecies, or the disturbing occurrences in the Amityville house. These aren't just tales designed to keep you up at night. They are events that have left indelible marks on the people involved and continue to baffle even the most skeptical minds. But what if I told you that these aren't just stories? that they have historical roots and evidence that can send chills down your spine. The year was 1977, in the small, unsuspecting town of Enfield, England, where an ordinary family would face extraordinary events. In the heart of suburban Enfield, the Hodgson family began experiencing a series of baffling incidents that would later be dubbed as the Enfield Poltergeist case. It all started with two sisters, Janet and Margaret Hodgson, who claimed to hear strange noises and witness furniture moving on its own. But the disturbances escalated quickly. Objects started to fly, loud knocking sounds echoed through the house, and chillingly, a voice seemed to emanate from young Janet herself. The family's plight caught the attention of the Society for Psychical Research. Notable investigators, Maurice Gross and Guy Lyon Playfair took on the case. Their witness testimonies painted a picture of a household in the throes of otherworldly phenomena. They reported seeing chairs levitate, toys soar through the air, and perhaps most unsettling of all, they heard the eerie, gravelly voice that seemed to possess Janet. This voice claimed to be that of Bill Wilkins, a man who had lived and died in the house years before. The entity recounted details of Wilkins's life and death with an eerie accuracy that left many questioning how a young girl like Janet could know such information. Skeptics, however, proposed alternative explanations. Some suggested the girls were skilled ventriloquists, while others believed it was an elaborate hoax for attention. Critics pointed out inconsistencies in the girls' stories and the lack of phenomena when they were closely watched. Yet, those who experienced the events firsthand, including the Hodgson family and the investigators, firmly maintained their stance. Something inexplicable was happening in the Enfield home. The Enfield poltergeist case left an indelible mark on the world of paranormal research. It has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and even inspired the plot of the blockbuster movie, The Conjuring 2. Despite numerous investigations and theories, the Enfield poltergeist remains one of the world's most bewildering paranormal mysteries. Fast forward to 1966 in the quiet town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where a creature of nightmare would soon make its presence known. It was late November when two young couples were out for a night drive near the McClintic Wildlife Management Area. Suddenly, they encountered something that would forever change their lives and the history of Point Pleasant. They spotted a figure, humanoid in shape with glowing red eyes and wings that spanned nearly 10 feet. This was the first recorded sighting of the creature that would come to be known as the Mothman. In the days and weeks that followed, sightings of this terrifying creature surged throughout the town. People from all walks of life, from firefighters to school teachers, reported seeing the Mothman. Its glowing red eyes and eerie presence instilled a profound sense of dread in those who encountered it. But the Mothman was more than just a figure of terror. It soon became apparent that its appearances were linked with ominous events and disasters. The most notable of these being the collapse of the Silver Bridge in December of 1967. Tragically, 46 lives were lost in the incident. And eerily, the sightings of the Mothman ceased immediately after the disaster. Theories surrounding the Mothman are as numerous as they are chilling. Some believe it to be an alien, a government experiment gone wrong, or even a harbinger of doom. Its legend has been immortalized in books, films, and even a yearly festival that draws crowds to Point Pleasant. Despite extensive investigations, no definitive explanation has been found for the Mothman sightings. This has only fueled the fascination and fear surrounding this enigmatic figure. Whether you believe in the Mothman or dismiss it as a mass hysteria, one thing is certain. Its story has left an indelible mark on the world of the paranormal. To this day, the Mothman remains a symbol of impending doom 
its legend echoing throughout Point Pleasant and beyond. In 1974, a gruesome murder in a quiet neighborhood would set the stage for one of the most notorious haunted houses in America. On a chilling November night, the DeFeo family was brutally murdered in their sleep. The only surviving member, Ronald DeFeo Jr., was convicted for the murders. But it was the events that unfolded after the DeFeo tragedy that truly shook the quiet town of Amityville, Long Island. A year later, the Lutz family moved into the infamous house, oblivious to its blood-soaked history. It didn't take long for the family to start experiencing strange phenomena. Unexplained noises resounded throughout the house. Green slime oozed from the walls, and an unseen entity knocked a knife from the kitchen counter. George Lutz was plagued by nightmares. His wife Kathy felt unseen hands caress her, and their children saw terrifying apparitions. Unable to bear the terror, the Lutz family fled the house after just 28 days, leaving behind their possessions and their sanity. The house was subsequently investigated by renowned paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, who confirmed the presence of malevolent spirits. The Amityville Horror, as it came to be known, sparked a media frenzy. Books were written, movies were made, and the house became a symbol of terror. Yet, controversies soon followed. Critics claimed the Lutz family had concocted the entire haunting for financial gain. The Warrens' paranormal findings were called into question, and skeptics dismissed the haunting as a clever publicity stunt. Despite the controversies, the Amityville horror remains one of the most debated paranormal cases in history. The house itself, with its distinct quarter-moon windows, looms ominously as a tourist attraction and a subject of fascination for paranormal enthusiasts. The Amityville house still stands today, a chilling reminder of the line where reality and the paranormal blur. The question remains, was it all a fabrication, or does the house truly harbor malevolent spirits? The Amityville horror continues to intrigue, frighten, and captivate us, reminding us of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of the ordinary. The Amityville house still stands today, a chilling reminder of the line where reality and the paranormal blur. From poltergeists to prophetic creatures, these paranormal events continue to baffle and intrigue us. The unseen realm, with its uncanny incidents and inexplicable phenomena, has always captivated our collective imagination. From the unsettling disturbances of the Enfield poltergeist, the prophetic and chilling warnings of the Mothman, to the unspeakable horrors encountered in Amityville, these events have left indelible imprints, challenging our understanding of reality. These instances etched in our history serve as reminders that there are aspects of our world that remain unexplored, mysteries that continue to elude our grasp. They provoke our curiosity, enticing us to delve deeper, to question the known and venture into the unknown. Every story we shared today, every eerie encounter, every unexplainable event stirs within us a sense of wonder, a desire to understand the inexplicable, and fuels our fascination with the paranormal. Do you think these events are mere coincidences or do they hint at a reality beyond our understanding? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing stories from the unseen realm.